Hello science enthusiasts, you are watching a Captain Corrosion video about anodizing, and in this episode you will learn about the basic steps that are required to properly carry out this process, so let's cover them one by one. First, the aluminium substrate is mechanically treated by polishing or blasting with glass beads. This is important because it helps removing the poor quality natural oxide layer and most of the impurities that would hinder the formation of the anodic oxide layer. Then, the metal substrate is cleaned from loose particles and minor impurities by rinsing with deionized water and organic solvents. In the next stages, the aluminium substrate is treated with warm sodium hydroxide and nitric acid in order to chemically remove the top layer of the metal, which results in a very clean surface and also exposes near surface intermetallic particles. It should also be noted that the chemical treatment stages are sometimes not necessary if the mechanical treatment is already sufficient. Anyhow, the freshly treated metal is then anodized, where the anodizing parameters such as current, voltage, temperature, time, and anodizing solution are selected based on final application. Finally, the pores in the anodic aluminium oxide layer are normally sealed to achieve long-term protection against corrosion, improve the resistance against mechanical damage, or to simply apply an aesthetic appearance. This can be done for instance by hydrothermal sealing, paints, or a variety of alternative methods, which will be discussed in the next episode. 